Eva Ibbotson's Journey to the River Sea, a historical children's fiction novel released in 2002, unfolds its narrative in the early 1900s within the Amazon basin. The protagonist, Maya, an orphan from England, is welcomed by the Carters, distant relatives, who own a rubber farm in Brazil. Ibbotson, an English novelist celebrated for her contributions to children's literature, crafted this adventure tale as a tribute to her late husband, a naturalist. The book received acclaim, winning the Smarties Prize, securing a runner-up position for the Guardian Children's Fiction Prize, and earning nominations for the Carnegie Medal, Whitbread Award, and the Blue Peter Book Award. The story commences with Maya, still grieving the loss of her parents in a train crash in Egypt, attending geography class at the Mayfair Academy for Young Ladies. The guardian of her trust fund, Mr. Murray, arrives, revealing that the Carters are willing to host her in Brazil. Maya, determined to overcome her fears, embarks on a journey with her governess, Miss Minton, to the Amazon. On the way, she befriends Clovis King, a young orphan, an actor, traveling with the Goodleys. The Carters, however, disappoint Maya with their disdain for the local environment and its people. Gwendolyn and Beatrice, the Carter twins, bully Maya, isolating her. It becomes evident that the Carters exploit Maya for financial gain. Lonely in the Carter household, Maya, with Miss Minton's encouragement, fakes an illness to explore the outside world. She befriends the servants and discovers a secret lagoon with Finn Taverner, the son of a naturalist and a local Xanti woman. Finn is on the run from investigators sent by his aristocratic grandfather. Maya, Clovis, and Finn devise a plan to help Clovis return to England and Finn remain free in the jungle. Through clever deception, they trick the investigators, leading to Clovis's return to England as the heir to Westwood. In England, Clovis struggles with his true identity, while the Carters face bankruptcy due to Mr. Carter's mismanagement. The twins, hoarding reward money, cause a fire in their home. The Carters survive, but Maya is believed to be dead. Finn, returning from his journey, finds Maya alive in the jungle. They embark on the journey she had dreamed of. Miss Minton, Professor Glastonbury, and the Carter's old steamboat join them. United, they live with the Zanti until the authorities intervene. Mr. Murray demands Maya's return to England, but Miss Minton persuades him to allow them to stay in Brazil. Freed from familial obligations, Finn chooses to join them in their pursuit of natural discovery and adventure in the Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.